Hi friends, if you are facing this type of blue screen error on your laptop or desktop, you can see the error line, your PC ran into a problem and needs to be restart. So in this video, I will show you some troubleshooting steps. So let's start. First, you have to shut down your laptop or desktop and open it in advanced option mode. So I will show you how to do it. Simply turn off your laptop. Turn it off completely. Now turn on your laptop again. Now wait for the Windows logo. So this is the Windows logo. Now forcefully shut down your laptop. Press and hold the power key. Now turn it on again and wait for the windows logo. Now again, shut down your laptop forcefully. Press and hold the power key. Now turn it on again. Now wait for the windows logo to come. And you can see preparing auto repair mode. So the mode has been started. Now wait for a few seconds. Diagnosing your PC. And you can see this is our automatic repair. And this is the option we need advanced options. Now simply click on this option to open advanced options. Click on it. And these are the options we need. So let's start our troubleshooting step. First click on troubleshoot, then click on advanced option. Now click on startup settings. Then click on restart. In this method, we will open our system in safe mode. And if you recently install any software or any game or any kind of windows update manually and after that you are facing this blue screen error. So in this step we will open our system in safe mode and uninstall that software. So simply press F5 key to open your system in safe mode. And now my system is in safe mode. Now. Go to your search bar and type control panel. Click on control panel app. And now change this view by to small icons. Then click on programs and feature. So these are the softwares I have. So if you recently install any software or any game and after that you are getting this blue screen error, uninstall that software simply right click on it and then click on uninstall and you can also arrange these software by date wise as well simply click on installed on or if you want to uninstall any windows update simply click on this option view installed updates so these are the windows updates i have you can arrange these update by date wise as well okay so if you recently install any windows update manually and after that you are getting this blue screen error, simply right click on that update and then click on uninstall. So this is how you can uninstall any software game and any windows update. Now move on to a next step. Again, go to the search bar and type view advanced system settings. Click on this option view advanced system settings. Now in the advanced tab, startup and recovery click on settings now untick this automatically restart option untick this option then click on ok then click on ok that's it now normally restart your system and it will fix your issue if you are still getting the same issue now move on to a next step open your advanced option mode again now move on to a next method Open your advanced option mode, then click on troubleshoot, then click on advanced option. Now click on this startup repair option. 
so this option will repair your startup boot files simply click on this option now wait for a few seconds it will take some time now select your login username so this is my username now enter your login password if you have otherwise click on continue now this option will diagnose your PC and repair your windows boot files and you can see this option is unable to repair my system you can see the error startup pair could not repair your PC so now move on to a next method click on this advanced option again then click on troubleshoot then click on advanced option now select this option system restore so if you have any restore point this method will restore your system in the back date if you have any restore point simply click on this option in my case I don't have any restore point but if you have any restore point you will get an option to restore your system to the back date and this will resolve your issue so now move on to a next method simply click on cancel click on troubleshoot advanced option then click on command prompt now you have to enter two commands the first command is chkdsk space slash f space slash r space c colon so this command will repair your hard disk enter this command now move on to a next command sfc space slash scan now so this command will repair your windows corrupted files press enter verification process has been completed now type exit then press enter now click on continue and it will boot your system normally and if you are still getting the same issue now move on to our final method click on troubleshoot and click on reset this PC so in this process we are going to reset our system so there are two options keep my files if you select this option your data your desktop data your other partition data will remain safe but if you choose the second option remove everything in this option your whole data will remove so I will go for the first one keep my files now click on local reinstall and you can see the details here change setting back to the default mode your data will remain safe as you can see keep personal files your data will remain safe but your software will remove so this is your final method so these are some troubleshooting steps you can apply to fix this blue screen error thank you